Lab. Welcome back to the lab. The last time we were in the lab, Hallie introduced you to the great apes, which are the largest and most intelligent of all primates. There are orangutans, gorillas, humans, chimpanzees and bonobos. Today, we start our journey into learning more about great apes by taking a closer look at orangutans. Orangutans are great apes that are endemic to the Southeast Asian islands of Borneo and Sumatra. Being endemic or native to these islands means they are not found in nature in any other region in the world. The word orangutan originates from the Malay expression meaning forest person and looking at their body structures, behaviours and social interactions, it is easy to see why. Orangutans are the largest arboreal mammal on earth. Arboreal means that they spend almost all of their lives in the trees, rarely making a journey to the forest floor, even when sleeping. Orangutans are well adapted to living in trees. They have long arms and shoulder structures that enable them to swing from branch to branch where they feed primarily on fruits, seeds and leaves. In doing so, they play an important role in seed dispersal of many rainforest trees. Their diet is also supplemented by insects which are gathered by using tools such as sticks and twigs. Orangutans are the slowest breeding of all primates. Females will start giving birth to offspring at around 12 years old. They have a gestation period of around eight and a half months, and in their 50-year lifespan, females will give birth around three times. Sadly, like many of the great apes, orangutans are classified as critically endangered. There are around 100,000 Bornean orangutans and less than 10,000 Sumatran orangutans left in the wild. Their main threats are habitat destruction, often to make way for sugar palm plantations. We all can do our part in helping to protect orangutans by avoiding products containing palm oil and palm sugar. Stay tuned for upcoming videos about the other great apes. Until then, bye for now!